Hello there, video world. Um, this is Only a Messenger, and uh, welcome and thanks for coming back again or watching another video. Uh, if you've been following me at all, you know that I tend to share stories that uh, God has shared with me, which are very unique, uh, very relevant ways to see things, um, to, to know the truth of what he's um, shared in his word and just what he's sharing overall. Today, as I was spending time in my word, um, he gave me a revelation. And the revelation is, I have some good news and bad news. So, <laughs> we've all heard that before. I have some good news and I have some bad news. Well, um, let me just go ahead and share what it is, and then we'll go ahead and explain it afterwards, okay? The good news. I have some good news. The good news is, God is real. He did write a book uh, <laughs> called the Bible. And people like to say, hey, he didn't write the book. People wrote the book. Well, He's using me to speak to you right now. So he used people to write his book. In his book, he pointed continuously to Jesus. And he did send his son Jesus, just like he said in his book that he would do. While we were still sinners, he sent his son Jesus to die for us and take our punishment. He did raise him up on the third day. He is still calling out to us to accept his gift of salvation through Jesus. And Jesus will one day come back and gather his own to live eternally with him. Now, that's the good news. Pretty cool good news. Here's the bad news. The bad news is, God is real. He did write a book, pointing to Jesus. He did send his son Jesus to die, while we were still sinners, to die for us and take our punishment. He did raise him up on the third day. He is still calling out to us to accept his gift of salvation through Jesus. And Jesus will one day come back to gather his own and live eternally with them. With him. Now, <laughs> did you notice something? The good news is the bad news. Wow, what a revelation that was for me this morning. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Is What's interesting is right after that, uh, of course, he um, shared with me where he says this in his own word. And so I'm going to read a Bible scripture verse now. And it's 2 Corinthians 15 and 16. Now, to kind of uh, just preface this, um, right before this, they are explaining that the knowledge of Christ and the, the lives of Christians, um, God's people, his true people, are like a perfume, like a fragrance, okay? But they smell different to different people. So, let's see what he says. 2 Corinthians 15 and 16. Our lives are a Christ-like fragrance rising up to God, but this fragrance is perceived differently by those who are being saved and by those who are perishing. To those who are perishing, we are a dreadful smell of death and doom. But to those who are being saved, we are a life-giving perfume. Wow. To those who are perishing, we are a dreadful smell of death and doom. I don't know if you've ever noticed. I've, I've, I, I know the answer now, but you kind of wonder... Um, why are Christians so hated? Because we're definitely a hated bunch of people. Um, most folks don't know this, and I'm not going to go deep into it, but there are more Christians being persecuted for their faith in today's world than there were back in the, um, well, let's just say the olden days, the, the, the days where they persecuted Christians. Um, but why? Well, because we are a dreadful smell of death and doom to those who are perishing. But yet, we're loved, and we love. If we're true Christians, there's so many people out there that are radical, just like, you know, there's radical this and radical that. And, and, and normally, when you're too radical about something, too radical, you get off base of what the truth is. And the truth is, is, is Christians aren't supposed to be doing a whole lot of the crazy things that they tend to do, uh, or some people who claim they're Christians tend to do. But... That's another day, or another story for another day. So, anyways, um, to those who are being saved, we're life-giving perfume. Now, 
I can go so deep with this one is there's so many ways that the Bible says this exact same thing over and over and over again of why people don't want anything to do with Christianity or, or Jesus or the Bible or God or, or anything else like that. And, um, but it's, I mean, books are written about it, so I can't share that in five minutes. So, or 10 minutes, <laughs> whatever time we have here, right? So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish, um, for the, um, video audience, my hello video world people. I'm going to leave that at that right here. Just something to think about. The good news is the bad news. And for those who would like to go a little deeper is, uh, come on over to onlyamessenger.com and, um, I'll finish up the rest of this over there. And uh, for those who are watching right now in this uh, video, um, you need to come over there. You should come over there and just check it out too. But sub submit. If you want to keep hearing truths that are just, wow, I never thought of it that way. I've never seen it that way. Uh, I humbly say that's how God shares things with me. Half the time I shake my head and go, wow, I never thought of that. Is, um, so sub subscribe. <laughs> I always say submit. So subscribe. Uh, like, comment. If you have something that you would like to, uh, if you have a question or a prayer, something that you want answered or shared or or uh, whatnot, I don't claim to have all the answers, but I do spend time in the Word, and I would ask God for you uh, what the answer is and let you know if there is one. Um, then comment, because I will definitely be looking forward to seeing those also. So subscribe, like, comment, Thank you very much for uh, uh, watching once again, and uh, Only a Messenger signing off to the video world. Now, thanks for coming back to OnlyAMessenger.com, and where I want to go a little bit deeper with this is this, is I started saying that we're a very hated bunch of people. Uh, if, if you, I, I almost think of the videos as like Sunday. <laughs> You can only go so deep with it and you start to lose the crowd. And then on Sunday night or Wednesday, you can go a little deeper because you have folks that are interested um, in what it is that we're sharing. Now, if you came here out of curiosity, but you still have no interest in this and everything else like that, hey, you're with the Wednesday crowd. Let me just tell you straight out, you're perishing. Is... Yeah. You need to, even without belief at the moment, just get down and say, Lord, I, I, I don't want to perish. If, if this is real, if you're real, then, then show me. Show me you're real. Show me the truth. And um, what a scary, horrible, terrible word, I mean, but yet hopefully it strikes fear in the right way. You're perishing. You are being, you're on a path to eternally live without God. Now, for those who are Christians, welcome back. There's, uh, or, or here's, here's, here's what I have to say to you. There is, there are a lot of people um, who like to say that we are Christians, you know. But God warns you, warns me, to double check and make sure you are. If you're not sharing God's word, somehow, with somebody, somewhere, you're probably not saved at all. This is another revelation, another realization I had. Think about it this way. When you become a Christian, truly become a Christian, not just say the words like uh, a, a lot of teachers just say, say the word and you're saved. No, you're not. Is If you were, we'd have a different world. Is Say the words and you're saved, but then there's no action. And you need to seriously question whether you meant what you said. Is what happens is when you become a Christian, a true Christian, a believer of God, a, a Christian, a follower of God, is the Holy Spirit moves inside your heart. Now you've probably heard this, but think about this for a minute. He moves inside your heart. If the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, how do you not want to read your word? How do you not want to spend time with him? How do you not want to share him? The Holy Spirit, and it's all, it's all the Holy Spirit wants to do, 
is guide you and lead you and direct you into a life that's much more like him, share him, we've been commanded to do it. But you don't do it because you're commanded. You do it because you love him. So to my Christian audience, I have to keep this short once again because I don't like to overgo and we'll be back again tomorrow or, or soon. Is And I have many other videos. Feel free to keep checking them out. If in your life you are not sharing God, if you're not interested in sharing God, uh, if, if you're not reading your word, if you're not interested in reading your word, if you're just like, oh, I'm too busy, whatever, you need to double check and be certain that you're truly even saved. You can't get this answer wrong. You can't die and go, oh man, redo. It, it, there, there are no other second chances. And so I pray, I hope, I beseech, I cry out to you, double check. Now, as a Christian, help me get this word out. I have a very unique program called I Know Your Name. And go check it out. It's right there on, on the left side of the screen that you're looking at right now. I Know Your Name is a very... Um, cool way where you can help spread the word without saying a word is um, just check it out, let it speak to you. Got a bug just flew in front of me, just let it speak to you and um, help me get this word out. Help me stay on the air constantly. I want to be doing this on a daily basis here shortly and I'm um, going to need your help. So, other than that, is I appreciate you watching as always and uh, listening. <laughs> no story to read here today. Uh, just a revelation. Okay, so only a messenger saying thanks, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.